Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Chrissy here. Uh, we're doing a lovely little painting today. I thought you'd enjoy this, guys. I enjoy painting this. I'm on an A4 size and I'm just doing a, like a Payne's grey background just to fill in the white canvas. So I want some more of a monochrome background and when I put my little car on, it's going to pop out. So I've dried that. I've drawn my little Volkswagen Beetle on to my canvas. And I've just done half of the car because I thought it would be a bit more interesting than actual doing a full version. But you could do a full version. So here you'll see me using a flat brush. I'm just putting in some dark shadows here. I'm just using some Cad Red Deep, Cad Red Medium Deep and a tiny little bit of black just to get the shadows correct of the car before we add any highlights. If you enjoyed this video guys, please leave us a thumbs up. Any comments you can uh, leave in the comment section. Obviously I'll answer you and get back to you. And enjoy the video. So I'm building up these layers now. I'm letting each layer dry before I come back. And I'm concentrating on the actual dark values of the car, which are lower down at the bottom. So the darker I go, I add a tiny bit more black and obviously the lighter I go, I just add less black to the red. Flat brush is a good little uh, brush to use. It's versatile, you can get in all the little corners, you can get some nice straight lines. Also, a, a angle brush is quite good as well for this. Any of your videos that you like, guys, please give them a go. I mean, they're all there for you to learn and paint and create something. That's why I do YouTube, to spread creativity into the art world. I think it's always nice to do that. I'm just putting the little wing mirror in there. You can see I'm just using some paints, grey again, and some titanium white, just to get like a little highlight there. And the same here on the bumper. It's just a nice grey mix, a mid-tone grey. I'm using a little detail brush. Just I find it easier when you're doing, a, it's not a small area obviously, but when you've got lines in your work, it stops you like going out the lines and keeping your lines fairly straight. I find it easier using a little small brush. But you could use a flat brush and just use a ruler and keep your lines fairly straight. So we can only see one tire obviously, which is the one on the right hand side. And just put a bit of reflective light underneath the car as well. So the tire does show up slightly. I'm just filling in the little lights. It's a bit dark value to get the shadows again before I come back to do the highlights. Still that little detail brush. And the colour I'm using now is not a pure titanium white. It's a bit lighter than the grey I put on the fender. So I've just added a bit more white. Making sure here I've got the nice shadows in that's connecting the bonnet. Well, separating the bonnet from the actual wheel arch. I'm going around putting all my lighter sections in around the headlights. Just using that off white again. And I've had a tiny little blue, tiny bit of blue to that, as you can see there, just to change the value slightly from a grey to like a bluey grey. Putting back my shadows again with a darker mixture. You can also make a playlist, guys, if you want to do a playlist. You can create your own playlist and add all your favourite 
YouTube artists in there and paintings that you like or future paintings that you want to do. I think it's a great little tool you can use there on YouTube as well as subscribe and thumbs up and all that. A lot of people don't know about the playlist, so that's why I mentioned it. It is a handy thing to have. And you can refer back to that instead of doing searches all the time to find the painting you was looking for. You can just save it to your playlist. So I'm just doing the detail work on the headlamp, as you can see here. I'm making sure I've got all the little screws and the fixtures that are actually on the headlight. Still with that small brush. I'm using that grey again. I've put less blue on this uh, mixture now. So I've just gone for more of a grey. And I've let, I'm doing a bit of wetting to work, but I'm laying most of it dry so I can build up my layers and my highlights. It's obviously wetting to wet, it does mix in and you lose your contrast a little bit. So I'm letting most of it dry, especially on the smaller areas. Another light section here on the on the bumper. So I'm going more white, more titanium white. And here I've just gone back with that blue again, just to emphasize a bit more detail on this actual bit here that you can see me painting now. So I kept it a fairly loose style, so I think this is a pretty easy one to do and really good fun as well. Plus it looks super cool when you've finished it all. And here you can see I'm just dabbing with that brush to put like some little tiny little brush strokes in just to make it more of a realistic feel even though it's still a loose style painting it's not just flat I've put a, a little bit of detail in because your eye will see this because it's actually in the foreground now I'm going in with more highlights here around the actual headlight that's the rim of the light so the darker the section in the middle is the actual inside of the light so it makes it look like it's sat inside because you're highlighting the outside of it and they are cute cars aren't they little Volkswagen I did a camper van one as well I'll link that in you can watch that also it's a Volkswagen camper van in the woods that was a really cool painting. So we did lots of texture in that one, doing the actual trees. We like doing texture as well. You can check that video out also. I appreciate all your comments, guys, and all your likes. It's really nice uh, to see people interacting as well, you know, enjoying art. Not just me, everybody, you know what I mean. I'm sure you follow quite a few people, which is really cool also. It's nice just to get in the zone, isn't it? And have your own hour or two, just doing your own thing. If you, you know, listening to music or whatever you like to do as well. Just zenning out, I call it, and relaxing. And just enjoying your own company, painting away. I, I like it. Plus, at the end of it, got a really cool painting to look at. I'm just making sure all the values are correct on this headlight and now I'm going into the lighter red now which is a cad red medium to lighten the actual body up on the car but don't forget keep your darker values you know check have a good reference that you can see properly I am using some glazing medium here to get a nice smooth transition 
So I've just thinned it out slightly so it goes on nice and smooth. Because we are uh, painting a smooth surface, a re reflective surface, if you will. But you can use water also, but I tend to find water just evaporate fairly quick. You know what I mean? So I like to use a bit of glazing medium, but you can add that with some water as well. Just mix it, a bit of glazing and a bit of water. So I'm just filling in the background here. It's just some uh, background noise, I call it, just to bring the painting together. It's like a bit of a building and a rose, so they're like sat in like a parking lot. And I think this added to the painting. I thought it looked really cool. I'm just scrumbling in with that grey colour. I'm using a soft filbert here. Checking my shadows again. So I wanted to keep that more black and white at the back. Maybe there's a tiny little blue in the mixture, but I still wanted that feel of it uh, black and white. So the actual red card pops against the background, which I like that feel. I like that look. Get me highlights, final highlights going on. So I'm adding some off white here because there is a, like a really light reflected colour here. So I'm adding that in as you can see. So it looks like more of a pinky tone. Because it is a reflected surface. So you are going to see some things reflecting onto the car. Another layer of cad red medium. Or in a thoughtful red. That's a nice colour as well. Cab red medium's really a nice colour because it's more of got leans to the orange side for me. And you can get in and holes, which are really like more of a pure, pure primary red. So it's up to you what you have in your painting stash. Me you don't have to do it red, you could have done it a different colour, blue, green. Just use the same principles as what I'm doing here and just do it a different colour if you wanted to. You know, say if you're doing it for somebody and they want it to match like the boys' room or somebody's uh, garage or whatever, you could do it to their colour scheme, that's what I'm saying. Like I said, I'm letting each layer dry, as you can see I'm going round the actual painting and then coming back to the areas that have dried off with another coat. And you can see it coming to life now. Even though we've done a loose style, it's got that realistic feel to it, hasn't it? I think it looks really cool. Then for final red highlights, I didn't add white because obviously that's more of a pink colour. I just added a tiny bit of cadmium orange. Not too much, just a tiny little bit if you want for the brighter sections. So with that nice soft fill book, that gives a nice smooth blend as well, a nice soft brush. Because if you use a stiff bristle brush, it'd be more scratchy, you know what I mean? Make sure you've got them nice dark values in. Because sometimes you paint over them, you do have to come back. So don't worry about that, as long as you know where they are. And there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I, I really enjoyed painting this for you. And if you wanted to create this, feel free. And if you're in the Facebook group, you can post in there or you can join the Facebook group as well. On screen now are two videos you may like to watch. And if you're not already subscribed, click on my face and be sure to click the icon bell to get a notification. As always, thanks for watching and create something wonderful. See you all soon on my next video.